Hi everyone, welcome back to the Angular 10 tutorial. In this video, we are going to learn about routing. In Angular, the routing module handles the navigation and routing. The routing allows you to move from one part of the application to another part or one view to another view. So let's see how we can use router in Angular 10. So first of all, create some component. So switch to the command prompt. And here just type a command for creating a new component so just type here ng d v for generate and c stand for component okay now add the uh, folder name components slash component name okay let's say component name is home now press enter Alright, home component has been created. Now create another component. So just write here ng d uh, space c component slash about. Okay, now press enter. Alright, create one more component. So just write here ng g. Let's C component component slash component name which is contact. All right, all three components I have created. Now switch to the project. And here inside the components components directory, you can see here about contact and home component. Okay. Now just open app.routing.module.ts file. Okay, this one. Inside this file, just import all components, all three components. So just write here import home component from uh, just add the path here. So just write here slash components slash home slash home component okay now right here import about component from components about and about that component okay one more time for the contact Contact component from components about uh, sorry contact slash contact dot component. Okay, this one. Alright, now just create a route. So inside this array, just add here path and path, let's say path is home. Okay, and components name, just add here home control, home component. Okay, and for the about, let's write here path about and component name about component. Okay. Now add the path for the contact. So just write here path contact and component name with this contact component okay now save this file and now just open app.component.html file and from this component just remove all the text okay now just add the never okay so go to the browser and just open new tab and just go to the url bootstrap.com 
okay now click on documentation now search here never nav bar okay and from here just copy let copy this never okay so just click on this link and now just paste inside app.component.html file all right now make some changes inside this navbar so uh, just i'm going to remove this and and just remove this li and here just add the text about contact all right now just remove this href and here just add a router link okay and router link is equal to let's say phone routed dash link all capital like this okay routed link now just add here router link is equal to about this path name okay home about and contact so for the contact router link is equal to contact all right now here just after the never add here router dash outlet okay now save this file and all done so let's check it so switch to the browser and okay here is it let's check it all right just remove this okay only router link and this now save this file and it's compiling and compiled successful here it is you can see here the navbar now just click in home and you can see here the home components content and if i click on about about content component content and if i click on contact you can see here the contact component contents okay so in this way you can use routing in angular 10 so thanks for watching this video and if you still have any kind of question you can ask me in the comment box don't forget to subscribe my channel thanks for watching